Hey, Powerfuls, I'm back. Okay, here's the second um, part of the same question, just to refresh everyone. The question is... In the first part, I explained that um, what I first do is I remember that this is my story. I'm the protagonist, okay? So the next thing, after you understand that, you want to start to take an intrapersonal look at the misunderstanding, at the conflict, and taking an intra intra-personal look, which, you know, that's within, um, we're in our emotional intelligence bag now, okay? This is where we really step into emotional intelligence. Um, number one, you want to identify the emotions that you are feeling. Be honest. Y'all, we got to be real about our emotions. Don't shy away from it. I know we live in a society that will try to tell you that, oh, you need to just suppress your emotions. Don't be too emotional. I get what they mean by that because unchecked, if you allow your emotions to drive, it will crash you into a wall. Okay? So I get that part. However, emotions are not a bad thing. They tell us vital information about what's going on with us very important information okay so identify the emotions that you feel sometimes anger goes a little bit deeper you know what i'm saying it's not just anger but it is um a rage or maybe it is um uh you feel disappointed you know you expect it better you know that could come off as anger if it's sad it could be uh, another form of disappointment or um you could be feeling let down, you know? So really identify that emotion, even when it comes down to, um, if it's a, some sort of happy emotion, you could break that down into what exactly you have, but that's not what we're here for. But I'm just saying, be really specific about the emotion that you're feeling as a result of this conflict and misunderstanding, okay? And then take it one step further. Once you identify the emotion, then you want to pinpoint the thought that is associated with bringing that emotion, okay? Because emotions, all it is, is a thought that's being worked out through your body. So you think of something, and once you think of it, your body reacts to it, and that is the emotion, okay? Understand that. So, what is the thought or the thoughts that are causing the emotion? This is very important, okay? Because I guarantee you that what just happened has nothing to do or less to do with the emotion than the actual thought that came as you heard or experienced this thing that you're going through right now, this conflict that you're going through right now, okay? And this is this this technique helps you to manage your emotions better, okay? Um we all have heard the popular catchphrase, I was triggered, okay? So that I was triggered lets you know that it is something from your past that is connecting to what's happening right now, which has allowed for this emotion and this thought and which has helped generate this conflict, okay? So identify why does what this person said or what this situation is bringing me, why does it make me have feelings of disappointment? Why does it make me have feelings of rejection? Why does it make me have feelings of abandonment? Why, where does that come from? This is important. It's very important for you to understand where your triggers come because we hear people say, well, I was triggered and then they move on, they sweep it up under the rug and they go on about their business. After it, the, the initial shock of the trigger, yeah, you may be upset or whatever you do and then after it subsides, you just leave it alone like nothing happened. But this is vital information. Use that information to heal, okay? What, what comes next after you're triggered? Do you have a process set up for that, okay? I'll see you in the next part.